Hey there, it's Dr. Fee Enkelman, and today we're talking about finding your bliss. Stay tuned. Hey, Wonder Women, it's Dr. Fee. Hello, how are you today? I'm feeling so blessed and grateful to be here and we're talking today about finding your bliss. So I am Dr. Fee Enkelman. I'm a transformation coach and had the pleasure of working as a medical doctor for more than 15 years. But the last couple of years, my whole focus and attention and energy has been directed towards helping ultra busy women who are suffering from burnout to really reconnect with themselves, to heal, to transform their entire lives and live with vitality, bliss and joy. And we do have a program called Finding Bliss. So today's topic is something that is very dear to my heart. And I really wanted to help you to rediscover what your bliss is to realign with that so that you can make better decisions in life that bring you back in congruence or congruent with what it is that you value, what is priority to you. So bliss, hey, what is it? Well, you know, for me, what I notice is it really depends on, you know, who I'm talking to as to the particulars the details of their bliss you know, for some women it may be how they are or how they feel in life in terms of material gains and career outcomes and successes and you know in terms of what they accomplish and achieve but generally speaking and remembering that I speak to a lot of women who are well they're in burnout uh, they've come to that point where generally they may have pushed or overexerted themselves to a breaking point and come to, come to realize that actually they've been sacrificing their health and their relationships for what? And it's not to say that career isn't important to them. Uh, the vast majority of, of our clients, you know, with our bliss sisters, yeah, it's a very important aspect of life, purpose, meaning, how they get to shine in the world, how they get to cultivate wealth and prosperity for their, for their family and really have an abundant life. It is very, very important. But, you know, it's within the context of inner health, of inner success. And that is really where bliss resides. And so, you know, what I find interesting is the, the, the very thing that often brings our clients to us is their desire to, to get healthy, the desire to save their marriage or to improve their relationships with their kids, to really help them to be the mum that they've always dreamt to be, to really help them to show up in a different way in their business or their career so that they can start saying yes to more and really be embracing opportunities that come to them. And all of that is fantastic. And as you'll see from our client celebrations, they accomplish and achieve so much because clearly we need to have our health. And it's you know, without our health, it's very, very hard to have love and connection. It's very hard, right, to show up to work day in, day out, to be making the decisions, making the right decisions. It's very hard to sustain life in a really full and fun way at full capacity if we don't have our health. But really, I think it's not just our physical symptoms, is it, or our physical health that I'm talking about. It's this inner well-being. And the journey that our clients take, they start to realize and wake up that actually it's not out there. It's not the career. It's not that relationship. It's not the house or all of that that actually is their inner 
that is actually their bliss. Now it's a part of it. So it's, I'm not saying that we don't want to have an abundant life, but what they're really chasing is more of an inner concept and inner well-being and inner experience. And let me just explain this on a deeper level. You know, how many of us look to purchase a home and it's a it's a beautiful gift that we get to to give ourselves and we're so lucky for those of us who do own our home to you know um to cherish it but have any of you experienced that you know desire to buy a home so that you feel secure but only to find yourself in greater insecurity because now you have a mortgage and or now something might happen to it or you might lose it. And it's not the home that you were really after, was it? It was you're really after a sense of security. And sometimes we try and, you know, feel those desires or our inner what we want on an inner capacity like whether it's security or happiness or joy or a sense of completeness but we're focusing on the wrong things we're focusing out there and when we get that we look around and realize that we're still depleted or we're still void of that particular thing that we're chasing so what I wanted to really jump on today about is and talk about is to help you to determine, well, what is your bliss? And I'm going to ask you, well, what are the three things that you truly, truly want in life? And I'm not talking about outcomes. Oh, I want a new job or I want a home and oh, I really want to travel the world or I want to have a family. That's all great. I want you to go deeper. And I want you to choose three words. Language, it has power to it. You know, cancer, how does it make you feel? Ooh. Debt, <gasps> money, divorce, you know, it all triggers us, it all has an, as a, has an effect. But so does vitality, so does vibrancy, fulfillment, spark, joy, love, connection. What is it that you truly are craving right now in life? What is, you, what is it that you are truly, truly desiring? And just know that that's what you, you know, look at what obstacles or challenges you might have in life, whether it's at work, in your marriage, in your relationship with your children or other family members. And just breathe in and ask yourself, well, what is it though that I truly want from them? What is it that I want from that, that project? Because that will give you insight as to what it is that you want. And then I'm going to just encourage you by asking the question, well, how do I give myself that? So truly a different way of looking at bliss and finding our bliss is to recognize that it's not gone. It's not something we have to make up. It's not anything that we need to recreate or purchase or, you know, orchestrate out there to find. And it's really hard because a lot of women I speak to are feeling very disconnected, numb, shut off, lost. And your bliss, let me assure you, it's not gone and forgotten or lost. It's there. It's just through the patterns of life and the experience of life that there are these now patterns that are running your, running your life, which is often push it down and keep going oh, I don't feel very good. I don't like that feeling. I don't like how I got triggered there. I don't like how I've responded to that. I don't like the outcome of that. I'm going to push it down and keep going. And in our attempt to not feel the negative feelings or the negative experience or the negative trigger that that experience gave me, what happens is that we, you know, 
disconnect from our emotions and we disconnect from a deeper part of ourselves. And so as we choose to not feel the negative emotions, our emotions are like a pendulum. We need to be able to feel sadness in order to feel the extent and the wonder of happiness. We need to be able to feel fear and scared so that we can feel calm. And it's like if we decide that, no, I can't feel that. No, I don't want to. I want to push that down. I don't want to feel it. It's ooh, let me get busy out there. Let me project how I'm feeling onto the other people. Let me just ignore it. You know, let me consume something to push it down. Then what happens is that our pendulum can't swing. So we're going to find ourselves feeling more and more disconnected, lost from ourselves and further and further and further away from our positive emotional state, from our bliss. And so really how we get to find our bliss is by rediscovering and reconnecting to ourselves and that my friends is just one of the most amazing things because when you rediscover and reconnect to that to you who you truly are all parts of you psychological emotional energetic physical and spiritual all of that then really what you're doing is identifying your needs, meeting your needs, but you're tapping into the power that is within you. And that power gets to then be the driver of your life rather than those patterns driving you into this wish-wash, like nightmare of a life. You actually are coming back through practices, through your own discipline, your commitment to reconnecting to yourself coming back to that space of power within you. And in that power, there is healing, there are solutions, there is intelligence, there is intuition, guidance. In that power, there is infinite abundance. And in that power is bliss. So if you're feeling like there are so many, you're feeling heavy, you're feeling depleted, you're feeling weighed down, and you, or it might be just this inkling that actually, you know what? What I need the most is to be able to let go. I feel like I'm carrying the baggage of the last 5, 10, 20 years. I need to let go. What I'm noticing is that I'm heavy and I'm shutting down. I, what I'm noticing is that there is resentment and guilt and anger building up with me and within me. And not only am I disconnected to myself and what I truly want, and not only am I disconnected to my own needs and how I get to meet my needs, but I'm disconnecting, I'm shutting down and I'm pushing away the people I love the most. And so as we let go and as we remove the layers, like the layers of the onion, what we come back to is the home within us, come back to that power within us, come back to ourselves, the big self, come back to who we truly are. And that is an exciting process. And why that is exciting is because reality tells us, well, what reality is, is that we will always be faced with obstacles and challenges and change and in order to flourish in that well you know having that connection to ourselves on a deeper level helps us to be resilient helps us to really handle life's challenges helps us to be able to thrive in the face of adversity but it also helps us to shift obstacles from problems into opportunities. Ooh, let me say that again. When we are really in that space of connecting to ourselves or parts of us on a deeper level, then when we're faced with potential problems, what, what happens is that we're able to handle them in a way that the problem shrinks and we grow, we become even more powerful so that we can handle life in such a bigger and better way. And that is just something that we witness, especially with our uh, grads, our next level programs, women who are just, you know, coming up against life, but just able to take it in their stride and take it and be able to really grow and learn and flourish and have fun even in that challenging situation.
And it's not to say that there isn't this, you know, we all get shrinked, but it's how we, and we all have those negative turn of the spiral, you know, where we feel, oh, life, it's getting on top of me. But knowing how to bring yourself back into your power, back into the, your state of peace and calm and joy, well, there's strength in that. And so much strength and so much confidence because you know who you are, what you want, and you trust and believe in yourself that you have the resources to handle it. So therefore, we get to say yes to more, yes to more. And this is what I wanted to touch on is that, and I say this with so much compassion for women who are looking at this, you know, often we come up to decisions, you know, you might recognize that right now oh my god I am so sick and tired of feeling exhausted I'm so sick and tired of feeling burnt out and so you come up to making a decision and when we are faced with a decision we can go two ways we can focus on all right a solution out there you know the strategy or we focus on our vibration mindset heart set soul set work and both of them are very important but what most people do is in that state of absolute depletion and resentment and a negative spiral or turn of cycle of despair and sadness is focus on fixing the solution by controlling stress out there. An example might be, okay, well, now um, my work is the cause of why I'm feeling this way, so I'm going to leave work. And there could be a repetitive cycle where the problem just follows. Or relationships, I'm feeling the way I am because of you. And so, they, you know, disconnect, shut down and push away the people that they love or, you know, there's a, there becomes a pattern of blame and shame and anger in a relationship that fractures that relationship. And by leaving it without doing other aspects of really healing what is at play, that problem can just follow you. Another very simple example might be, you know, feeling overwhelmed with work, overwhelmed with life and, okay, well, I, I'll leave my job or I'll have a holiday. But getting back to work, what you notice within days or weeks, the same familiar feeling of overwhelm and depletion, exhaustion comes back and it's, hello, hello, my friend, it's like back again and it's stealing your bliss. And, you know, we, I see... And, and I, I've gone to many, many health retreats and uh, meditation retreats and spiritual retreats in my life. And they can be very helpful on, on many levels. But again, what we are doing is pulling out and disconnecting from our lives to do this work. And so there's, it can be difficult to integrate the full extent of what they offer because we're not in our life while we're doing it. And so what we can even find after doing health retreats um, or courses and things like that is that as you are in life, unless you're really focused on those patterns and those sabotage or that or all of that that is weighing you down and, and really put a, a blanket over, you know, you connecting to yourself or your bliss, then you're going to look around in life after those courses and retreats and just be like, wow, I'm back to where I was. And that's a really disheartening place and a, and a disheartening process to go through. And so... I think that would resonate with most of you. You know, it's, it's something that we commonly do. I still notice that pattern. If I'm up against something and I don't want it that way, it's very hard not to try and to not to just balance into, well, I'm solve it mode, fix it mode. Like I'm going to, and a lot of us can wear that as a badge. I have like, I'm the person that people come to, to fix it. And so when it comes to our lives, well, I'm feeling this way. So I'm going to find the solution or a new strategy or a new approach or a new diet or a new whatever regime out there to help me to feel better. But what I find is when we come against a decision of what is needed to be done is to recognize that actually how we make that decision or what solutions are available to us is going to be very much dependent on what I call our vibrational state. And our vibrational state is very much affected by our emotions. Okay. And so 
our vibrational state, for example, if you're in a state of shame, which is a very, very low energy, a very, like you think about it, when you're in a state of shame, true shame, our physiology wants to curl up. We feel sick in the gut. We, we kind of curl our shoulders. We drop our head down and, you know, it's a heavy feeling. It's a heaviness in that. We can even, we feel very contracted and shrunken in shame. And so in that state of shame, the solutions that are available to us are very limited. But have you noticed when you're in the state of love or lightness or courage that what happens, of course, our physiology shifts, doesn't it? Courage, shoulders back, chest out, jaw up straight. We feel taller. We're breathing differently. We're carrying ourselves differently. We feel lighter. We notice our thoughts. We have a different dialogue going on. And what we can think of, our creative faculty is working differently. And the solutions that we can focus on or that come to us are so many more than when we were in a state of shame. And so this is commonly what happens is when we feel triggered and we're really at that state, you know, we feel like so disappointed or shame as an example, then we may only see the solution as I need to get out of this situation. I need to leave him. I need to leave her. Uh, you know, the only solution is that. Whereas if we focus on looking after ourselves, meeting our needs, coming back to our bliss and our bliss being oh, this inner well-being, peace and joy, coming back to that, then in that state, we are going to see life so much more differently. And the solution, the strategies that are available to us are very, very different. We can see opportunities where there were no opportunities. We can have absolute clarity as to what decision is best for me. We can hear our inner voice, our guiding light, our intuition, our guidance. We can hear it. We, we can trust our guts. We trust ourselves. And we just have that fuel to take action and take steps. And so I wanted to share that with you because that is why with our clients, rapid change happens. We are still focusing on strategy and solution, but we're often keeping that quite simple. What we're really helping women to do is to be finding their bliss, which is inwards, to tapping into their power, to be able to know what it is that they want. Who am I? What do I truly want? What are my values? What are my priorities? How do I live in alignment to that? Yeah. How do I meet my needs? Because it's not a question of never having another negative thought or never being caught in a cycle of sabotage or never being triggered. No, that's not. I think that's, uh, yes, I think that's part of being human. But it's about how we manage that so that we can own our own state no matter what is happening in our lives, that we can own our own state and feel joy, calm and peace and love and acceptance or whatever, you know, those beautiful divine qualities that are within us, that we can feel that even when life is happening, even when there's so-called challenges and obstacles out there and as we fall off we get triggered and we get caught in the drama of life we know how to come back and come back into our bliss so you know it's a it's a topic that I've just scratched the surface on but I'm here to share it with you to ask you well to help you to think about it in a different way Yes, I'm so here to have a really abundant life, you know, to have a life full of beauty and deep love and connection, to have a full life of embracing opportunities to do great things in the world as you are. We all have those calling, you know, and I invite you to really embrace that 
give yourself permission to embrace that. But I also really want you to go deeper and ask yourself, well, what is it? What, how do I want to be feeling? What is it that I'm truly after? Because I can assure you, if we keep living life saying, I'll be happy when I, I'll be happy once I've achieved this, I'll be successful when I get there. When you get there, you look around, nothing really has changed because you haven't really addressed your inner well-being, your inner state, your bliss. You haven't tapped into that. And so, you know, I invite you to look at how that's been playing out in your life to date. If you are really, if it resonates with you, you know, then I encourage you to check out our free masterclass. And it is five simple steps that professional women, our professional clients have used to overcome burnout, to reconnect with themselves and live with joy and vitality. And the reason is, is that I want to share those, those five shifts with you. And that will be something of great benefit so that you can take that on. And from there, you know, if we're a good fit and I go through that, then I encourage you to reach out to our team at that stage. So guys, here's to you finding your bliss and to everyone in the world. It's my prayer. It's my, my, my prayer that, you know, we all wake up to ourselves and we have not just a beautiful, abundant life that we get to enjoy, but we do it with such wisdom and that inner strength that we get to really be with that. We really get to embrace bliss in our life. And so um, I hope you have a wonderful day and the week ahead. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you would like to subscribe and keep in touch, then click on my head and you'll subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a call with our team for an amazing life-changing experience, then click on the button beneath this, which is book a clarity session, or go to our website, findingbliss.com.au forward slash apply, and be sure to fill out a short application form to secure the opportunity. Awesome. Stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you on our next session. Big love.